boy, did week six not disappoint in some ways. In other ways, it did. But we made it through. We made it through week six. We're a third of the way there, guys. We're a third of the way there. I don't know how we're a third of the way to the NFL playoffs, but we're 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 getting there. Let, let's just get let's just get some of these primetime games out the way. Like the Commanders and the Bears. I told y'all. I told y'all when I when I make the preview late. Don't subject yourselves to that. And whoever did, I hope I, I I'm praying for you because I mean twelve to seven, Commanders. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. And then you also got the game that just finished in overtime. That Brandon Staley once again was absolutely terrible in clock management chargers don't know what in the world to do on offense like i don't know how this team is four and two right now but then again it's russell wilson and the broncos and i mean they're bad like absolutely terrible like why was this team playing four of their six games so far in prime time, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, man. I really don't. Uh, I'm, I'm disgusted right now. I'm really disgusted. So, yeah, um, the Ravens blew another lead again. You know, like the Giants forced the fumble late. You know, that Giants defense is resilient, man. Like, uh, it looked like they were going to be, you know, down and out for a second. But they pulled through and won against the Ravens. And now the Giants are 5-1. and one. Crazy stuff. Colts beat the Jags. That's nothing really here to say. You know, Bailey Zapp, you know, is out here balling, surprisingly enough. He, it, I mean, the Patriots took care of the Browns, so that's something, you know. And then the Bengals and the Saints had a little dog fight out there in New Orleans, you know. And the Steelers. I don't know how the Steelers did it. You know, Kenny Pickett got KO'd from the game. Tom Brady out here yelling at dudes on the sideline and stuff like that because he's angry because he can't get no offense going. And yet, Mitchell Trubisky and that Steelers defense somehow helped the Steelers beat the Bucks. That's like a rarity for Tom Brady to lose to the Steelers like that. Like, Brady owns the Steelers. Like, how? I don't get it, man. I really don't. I really don't. And then the Falcons, like, Marcus Mariota played a damn near perfect game. We're talking he was 13 of 14, passing. Like, I don't know what in the world happened to the 40 Irons here, man. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, man. What is, what is this? What kind of performance is this? I'm, I'm sitting here perplexed. You know who else is perplexed right now? Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. They are absolutely perplexed right now. Like, how is the Packers? They, how they get they get they got absolutely dominated by Zach Wilson, Sauce Gardner, uh, and the Jets, who you know they they blocked them. No, yeah, they blocked the punt. They they were all over Rodgers all day long. I mean, I remember taking a nap during this game because I, I don't know why. I, I think I was just tired that day, on Sunday. And, I mean, I wake up, and it's like 27 to 10. And I'm like, what what, what happened? Why are the Packers, what, what's wrong with this offense? What's wrong with this defense? And I, again, I said this. Like, the Packers have the talent there. It's just not executed. Like, they can get all these young guys in the wide receiver game involved. And they got a dual threat, you know, or, you know, a, a duo at running back. And yet, they can't get anything going. Like, Aaron Rodgers is the reigning defending undisputed MVP. And yet... Mans can't get any offense going. He can't get anything going with this Packers team, and it's just absolutely infuriating for a Packers fan. You know, like this Packers team is on something else. 
Like the NFL and parody is just it, it's it's getting real intriguing because like the Jets are four and two with this defense with Zach Wilson, who really has proved nothing in the NFL so far. Like whoa, man, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. So yeah, about uh, well, at least two was healthy. You know, he, he should be coming back against the Steelers. Um, but the Vikings beat the Dolphins. And Skylar Thompson got knocked out. And it, it, it uh, did the Dolphins even have a quarterback for the, like the last two or three quarters of that game? I don't know. I do know that the Rams bounce back against the Panthers, though. So there's that. I mean... What else can you say? Because, I mean, the Panthers just aren't very good. And, you know, the one of the biggest surprises, you know, was the Seahawks beating the Cardinals. I, I genuinely do not know. Because, I mean, there was some, something happened in this game. I think it was like a punt block or something in the end zone. And I'm just like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, what's wrong with this Cardinals team? Why are they so bad? They're two and four. Like the Seahawks, I believe, lead. Well, they should be tied with the Rams, but you know the NFC West is looking. You know, it's like the other teams in the NFC West. The Cardinals are just trying to scrape their way out of the bottom of the barrel right now. Cause like this Cardinals team is lost, and I've been saying it all season that they're lost. They're they're more lost than little puppies. And that, that's just how it is, man. Um, I don't really want to talk about the Cowboys-Eagles game. But, honestly, it, it was bound to happen. I mean, you got them Eagles and, you know, DBs back there. You got Jalen Hurts throwing it to everybody. I mean, Devontae Smith. I mean, it's just, I mean, it was just you know, A.J. Brown. I mean, I mean, this defense picked off Cooper Rush, what, three times? It, it, it was rough out there. It was rough out there for the Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys made it a game. They made it a game, but uh, making it a game doesn't count in my book. It it was an L. And for the first time, Cooper Rush loses a game as a Cowboys starter. And the timetable on Dak is still unknown right now. Now. You know, there have been some rumblings, you know, from some Cowboys fans like, oh, well, Cooper Rush, he should be the starter. When you know that's not the case, you know, you need to stop that right now. Dak is the guy um, until proven otherwise. And hopefully he gets back because uh, Detroit, Chicago are next for the Cowboys and the Eagles. I mean, my goodness, the Eagles, they get a bye and then they get an easy easy road it looks like this team is going to be undefeated for a while honestly like there might have been the best chance right there for somebody to knock off the eagles you know for the moment anyway because i mean you look at the rest of the eagles schedule and it's just oh man these teams that they're playing oh my goodness but last but not least bills chiefs Man, you know, my boy, my quarterback, Romo, predicted this game as accurately as possible. It was 24 to 20. It was a dog fight, man, until the bitter end. Tied pretty much the entire game. Like, you got you got insane plays in this game. You get yeah, you had some penalties here and there, you know, that's the nature of the NFL. Um and then Josh Allen just, I mean, there there were some throws out here that he was just making them, you know, Gabe Davis, uh, Diggs, I mean, Allen can sling it. And Mahomes countered on multiple occasions. He was able to sling it. Juju, I mean, Miko Armin, I mean, man, it was a dogfight. Kelsey, it was a dogfight until the very end. And until the very end, when Mahomes threw a pick that um, was intended for somebody, I mean, my goodness, what a game! It was. It wasn't as you know crazy as the 
playoff game from what nine yeah about nine months ago but man what a game and what a week of NFL football um honestly like you look at me you look at me and I'm just like wait what is going on what is what kind what kind of what are we looking at right now and I'm just I'm just perplexed I'm confused I'm flummoxed because this isn't normal this is a different NFL this is a different breed and yeah all these roughing the passing penalties are getting a little bit too out of pocket but it is what it is. The, well, the penalties in general are just getting out of pocket. How many penalties were there tonight? Like 20 in the Broncos Chargers game? There had to have been because, I mean, it was that bad. Um, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like we're, we're, we're in a weird season. Again, like I said at the beginning of the year, we're in for something weird. And week seven promises us something it looks like I'm gonna have to you know just like maybe just watch the early slate and then the late games and then that's it I think my Sunday's gonna be real short and sweet I think my Sunday's gonna be real short you know because I mean you look at Thursday you look at Sunday night you look at Monday night like I don't even want to watch this man NFL said NFL really said we gonna put this on for you three days of the week and not even give us quality Ugh. but then again the NFL is in so much parody right now where you don't even know what's going to happen next because I mean my goodness man we're in for a, we're in for another crazy week seven I can guarantee you that so until Wednesday hopefully I get it on time this time because you know college football is college football so hopefully I get it on time for Wednesday night and that's it. Um, Y'all take care. Have a good night. Um, gotta go to bed. And, you know, hopefully we don't have to see the Broncos in prime time anymore. I hope they start flexing them out real soon. Please. Please, NFL. Please. Please flex schedule, guys. Please. Please. Damn it, please.